In this video, we are going to go over the best cybersecurity certifications that you can do to land a job in cybersecurity. This rating system is built up using the experts here at Better Cyber Career, specifically our head trainer John Kwame, who transitioned into cybersecurity looking for a better life and landed a GRC role that paid him $20,000 a month at its peak. I think the 15,000, it just kept on going up, right? It was hovering around like 20,000, 20,000, around there a month, you know? And and I mean, I wasn't trying to talk to my friends and say, hey guys, guess how much I make. Now, if you want to stay updated on the exact step-by-step -step frameworks that we teach our students on how to land jobs in cybersecurity, click the link down below and register to our weekly newsletter to stay on top of the game. Let's dive straight into the list. And at the end, we are going to give you our top three recommendations that you need to look at if you are transitioning into cybersecurity. First up is CompTIA A+. This is a basic IT level certification that won't necessarily help you land a job. You do need to know everything that is on the A+, certification, but it's not necessarily going to help you land a job. So, F tier. Next up, CompTIA Network Plus. This is a slight upgrade to the CompTIA A Plus certification, but it only covers the basics of networking and maybe can help you land a job as a networking intern. But hiring managers are not going to be looking at this certification when hiring you for positions in cybersecurity. So we're going to classify this as D tier. Next up, we have CompTIA Security Plus. Now, this one is a widely known entry-level certification that covers all the basic cybersecurity principles. In 2024, this has pretty much become a mandatory certification and many job recruiters have specific job adverts requesting this certification. I think this will definitely improve your chances of landing a job, so it here. Now there's a way to bypass this and land a job in cybersecurity. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos on how you can land a job without really looking into certifications or experience. Next up, we have CompTIA CISA Plus. This is a certification that looks into security defense and incident response. This is an entry-level certification, but it is a bit more job specific. As a beginner, this is a good certification to have. And it is more or less the same difficulty as Security Plus. But it vastly improves your hireability as it improves your knowledge on incident detection and response. So, B tier. Google Cybersecurity Certifications. This is a new certificate offered by Google for free and also covers the basic cybersecurity principles. It helps you prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus exam. And it is a great certification to show recruiters that you are serious about getting into the cybersecurity field. So, A tier. CompTIA Pentest Plus. This is a certification that focuses more on the offensive side of cybersecurity through penetration testing and vulnerability assessment. This is more of a mid-level certification as penetration tester is a bit of a mid-level job position. And so for those reasons, you probably need a bit more experience combined with this certification to help you land a job as a penetration tester. So as a beginner, this might not be the most ideal certificate for you. So D tier. Now guys, here's a bonus tip for you. We are offering training if you want to sit for the CompTIA Security Plus exam. So if you are interested, subscribe to our channel and click the link to sign up to our newsletter down below where we give you information about how to register with our CompTIA Security Plus training program. The next certification that we'll be categorizing is CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker. Now, this is a widely known and slightly controversial certification. It's more in line with people who are looking to make it as a penetration tester. The security community thinks it's more overhyped, but because of its widespread notoriety, it looks good on your resume and definitely increases your chances of getting hired. But it also costs about $1,100 and you require about two years of experience in order for you to obtain it. So again, it's not the best option as a beginner. So C tier. Next up, we have OSCP. Offensive Security Certified Professional. This is also a well-known certification that rivals CEH, but it costs higher, coming in at $1,500 for a one-time exam. Again, this is targeted towards more experienced individuals. So as a beginner, probably not for you. C tier. 
ISACA certifications. These are government compliance certifications that are perfect for people looking to switch to non-technical cybersecurity roles. ISACA offers four certifications that are commonly looked for. There's CISA Certified Information Systems Officer. There's CISM, Certified Information Security Manager. CRISC, Certified Risk and Information Control. CGEIT, Certified Governance of Enterprise IT. These certifications are all entry-level certifications with the exception of CISM. Now, these are great if you are a beginner. So, A tier. That's correct. There are non-technical roles in cybersecurity that you can get into with these basic level qualifications. So, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned if you want to learn more certifications and more information on how to land your first job in cybersecurity. GIAC certifications. These are the same as ISACA, but a bit less known. But again, these are great certifications to help students land entry-level cybersecurity jobs. But keep in mind, ISACA is a lot more sought after than GIAC certifications. So for that reason, we're going to put this in C tier. Last but certainly not the least, we have CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional. This is by far the most versatile job certificate that you can get that quite literally guarantees a job if hiring managers see this on your resume. It covers a wide range of cybersecurity topics covering up to eight domains in cybersecurity. This is a certification that you should definitely get if you want to secure a six-figure salary in the cybersecurity space. However, the catch is that it takes up to five years to complete. So is it suitable for a beginner? Probably not. That being said, given how versatile this certification is and how guaranteed it is for you to land a job if you have it, we would probably place this in the S tier. Now we've covered a bunch of cybersecurity certificates in this video, but here are the top three that we recommend that you get as a beginner. Number one would be CompTIA Security Plus. Number two would be the Google certifications. And number three would be the Isaka certifications. Now, if you are armed with these certifications, trust me, your process to land a job would be that much easier. Now, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, share this with your friends, and click the link in the description to subscribe to our weekly newsletter to become a cybersecurity professional.